All right, hey, uh, one sec. Hey, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Hope you hope you're having a fantastic Saturday evening. Uh, being on your bestest behavior ever, cause your father is watching. <laughs> So yeah, be careful out there. It is wet roads. It's kind of rainy out there. Uh, wet roads. No drinking and driving allowed. And no eating too much junk food. Unless you're going to work out really hard tomorrow. Then maybe it's okay. Alright. So uh, this will be 365 day devotional. I got a cat. We'll turn it that way. See if she hangs out. See if she joins in with us. You enjoying with us? 365 day devotional. Uh, Max Lucado's book. God is with you every day. It's so true. It was definitely with me today. I just uh, was really patient. I'm really patient all the time before church, after church, just being led and being, God just says, wait, 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 and it always works out, and it worked out. Maybe I'll go into that after this. Never know what I'll go into, right? July 7th, 2018. Problems happen. Hi, Miss Stormy. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? 1 John 5, 5. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? 1 John 5, 5. You'll never have a problem-free life. Ever. Hmm. We'll see where this goes. I got some insight on that. You'll never drift off to sleep on the wings of this thought. My today came and went with no problems in the world. This headline will never appear in the paper. We have only good news to report. <laughs> this headline will never appear. We have only good news to report. A good comedian, he says, the news should be called what is wrong <laughs> or what is wrong with the world or what is going on wrong or it's interesting. You might be elected as a president of Russia. You might discover a way to email pizza and become a billionaire. You might be called out of the stands to pinch hit when your team is down to its final out of the World Series. Hit a home run and have your face appear on the cover of Sports Illustrated. It's not likely, but it's possible. But a problem-free, no-hassle, blue-sky existence of smooth sailing. Don't hold your breath. Problems happen. They happen to rich people, sexy people, educated people, sophisticated people. They happen to retired people, single people, spiritual people, and secular people. But not all people see problems the same way. This is where we're getting to. All right, Max. Some people are overcome by problems. Others overcome problems. Some people are left bitter. Others are left better. Some people face their challenges with fear. Others with faith. You don't have a choice about having problems, but you do have a choice about what you do with them. Choose faith. That's much better. I'm big on its perspective. If you think it's a problem, it's a small problem compared to some of the bigger, bigger problems that it could be. So a lot of small problems add up. They add up and that can cause a lot of stress and anxiety or call not to be stressed or have anxiety not worry that God's going to take care of it. But if you let, if you're neglectful and you let a lot of small problems happen and nip it in the bud right away, uh, that's on you. You were disobedient. You weren't led by in doing what you were supposed to do. And at some point in the beginning, you were negligent in some relationship or at work, some responsibility that you have. So stay ahead of your problems and, and, and plan ahead so there is less and less problems until you get really good at this life and the cycle of life and the routines and and trying new things and uh, what is going on out there? I think there's a cat out there. Okay. Anyway, so problems happen. Oh, it's a cat eating food. Sorry. Yeah, noises. Ah, so you don't have a choice about having problems, but you do have a choice about what you do with them. Choose faith. All right. So choose faith. And faith is the hardest one to master. I always go through the, the patience, obedience, uh, love, but unconditional love for all people. 
no matter what ethnicity, their background, uh, what they look like, unconditional love. And that's not so hard when you practice it more. Remember, everything is repetitions and sets. Uh, as you practice that more, it becomes easier and easier and easier. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so, hmm. So, yeah, as I was speaking about how, how God works in our lives when we're obedient and patient. I mean, uh, church went awesome, as usual. I was very tired, though, very tired. I always say, when I do the park run and then cycle and then swim, even coming home and trying to sleep for three hours uh it's very hard it's just uh kind of exhausting even if you fuel up enough the right amount of carbohydrates the right proteins and you hydrate uh it's exhausting it's hard so that's why sometimes um competing on saturdays or sundays kind of messes me up in church that night especially if i need to be uh, alert or sharp in church because i never who's know who's going to come across my path so if i'm not alert and sharp and i'm kind of moody and tired uh, yeah, I might not be at my best. I still perform really, really well, but uh, yeah, I want to be ready for that. So I got a little tired today, and and uh, some really special people I did see today from uh, London and Jeremy Elliott and Portia and then the, uh, the leaders of New Beginnings and Marty's there and just everybody, everybody in real life that I know, and I'll I'll do it in tomorrow and tomorrow I need to be sharp so you gotta go to sleep early and wake up early and fuel yourself so you're sharp and uh, and so you can feel sensitive to the Holy Spirit and how it leads you and be at your best um, yeah so I guess that's kind of playing in our head or doing what we're supposed to do at the time right now doing the, the next right thing and that kind of sets us up for the future so um, but getting godly counsel so it is a big deal uh, yeah, so since, so like church, just hanging out, always after church, just letting the Holy Spirit lead you and just chilling out, and that leads to just talking more in the parking lot, just talking, just being friends and relationship, and then uh, just doing something special for a friend, but ending up somewhere, I like to go to Ross just so I can run, uh, I, I love looking at the shoes, and but I think it's way deeper than that, because my, uh, my most favorite, favorite, wonderful, genius, gorgeous uh, stepdaughter works right next door. And yeah, she was there. Well, actually, she got off and she walked up into Ross. And I was in Ross looking at shoes, of course. And I, I found some shoes. She was there and we talked for 30 minutes. And she just graduated um, last month, just graduated, but already is enrolled in summer classes and, and then already enrolled in classes for fall semester. Uh, which is terrific, but I, uh, so I gave her some godly counsel, and, uh, and I always hope the counselors there at the schools do too, because how she was going was the counselor was all setting her up to get the, the AA degree stuff, and, uh, she said she wanted to be in the health field, and I'm like, uh, of course I was offering her a job at the, at the hospital again, I mean, there's NTC, uh, mem there wasn't a membership representative job, but I bet I can, uh, find out if there is one open but the kids club is open and a group fitness instructor but uh but anyway uh but her getting a job there would open a door to another thing since she is interested in health and uh and now i think it's more clear to her i say well if you're interested in health if i could do it again uh, or if i were you i would um get into nursing the nursing school is all right there at Lake Sumter anyway, right here, this campus, the Claremont campus. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, it's crazy. And then you won't have to take two, all the AA classes, just get right in nursing school. There's no short term, um, there's no job like that that you can all of a sudden jump from uh, the income earning potential that a nurse can, just a, uh, an AS degree nurse, just a two year nursing school nurse, there's none. And to already have somebody that works at the hospital or you yourself already work at the hospital can get right in there sometimes and get hired. Uh, so there's no job like that. And I think I got her back on path, but it is God's will in her life. Um, she's not necessarily a follower or doesn't, uh, but I'm there. I'm there and I'm gonna guide her and I'm always gonna love her and yeah I'm always gonna be her her daddy she still calls me daddy it's been like six years maybe but uh, 
still see her like a kid, but uh, she's turned out just fine. And I knew God had a plan and purpose. I mean, it is for those kids, and uh, yeah, yeah. So, so I didn't realize that. I always forget that part. I'm always thinking about uh, what next relationship, if I'm gonna get married or what I'm gonna do. But sometimes I just need to be obedient in the time now and say what I gotta say to people because I always, always. I always say that we have to, we all hold a key or some knowledge that somebody else needs to, needs to know and we need to shepherd people. Those are the sheep we need to shepherd and mentor and counsel people, godly counsel. So I got to do that. And I feel good about that. And it kind of opened my eyes to something too. I said, hey, you want me to go to nursing school with you? Because I plan on, uh, I plan, I don't really plan, but after I graduate here, I'll take the prerequisites to go to, I want to go to uh, Liberty Medical School. I really do. I really, really do. I really loved it at Liberty University in their um, osteopathic school. Just the professors that I've came in contact with at Liberty University, they're, they're like me a lot. They're phenomenal at their teaching, but they're more filled with the Holy Spirit when they teach. They're not, uh, yeah, it's not boring at all. I think when I went up there for a uh, uh, biomechanics class, he was just real chill, but the last one for the exercise physiology, I think most of it was stuff we already know. But he was just chill and joking and tell his stories the whole time, most of the time, which made it really fun. But we understood all the labs, and we got it, and we were quick learners, and he just made it really fun. And that's kind of how I am, how I teach, too, and uh, I know where I was going with that. But I really love the people up there and love the area. And know that if I have a professor, that where the focus of the professor is, that they're not dealing, they could still be dealing with problems in their own life, but they have... God is their strength and, and guides them and stuff. So I need a professor that is 100% focused and dedicated to to me and to us uh, in succeeding. So you never know God's plans and who he's going to put in your life. So that's why we're obedient and patient and have hope and faith and love and stay praying and stay in a relationship with God. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. Like I always say, it is glory to glory to glory. Doing the next right thing. Uh, just the small little things that you do right add up to a big thing. Every Saturday. I always say every Saturday there's a big change. Whether a big thing with the health and fitness is there's a big body composition change. Every Saturday, if Sunday through Friday, if you do what you're supposed to do with your fitness activity, it doesn't have to be a lot, and then your nutrition... Every Saturday, your body composition will change for the positive. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, and what I've kind of uh, recommended. So if you're not doing it, and you say, oh, I had to cheat this day because it was 4th of July. Well, this Saturday, you're not going to be glory to glory to glory. Sorry. <laughs> you just have to put it off a week. And then another week goes by, well, it's because you bought these two six-packs of even Diet Coke. Diet Coke's going to screw you up. Sorry, you're not going to get up to your... You're not going to hit your, your goals because you still let this um, tempt you and you're giving into it. So, yeah, so it's the small little things we're supposed to be doing. So that's why I always pray for myself. Is there anything in my life, God, I need to be doing or I need to stop doing uh, to fulfill your plan and purpose for my life? And, uh, yeah, it works pretty good. I always say if you're tired, sleep. If you're hungry, eat. If you need to talk to somebody, go talk to somebody, but end up in a church and end up in the presence of God and in a relationship with God. And uh, He's there for you. We have access to the Heavenly Father through Jesus that came to this earth, lived a perfect life, a sinless life for 33 years, but then uh, paid our debt on the cross. Paid our debt on the cross, but resurrected in three days. Three days is now uh, left us a help or two. We got the Holy Spirit. These are all the basics. The basics very simple to understand. And we have the whole roadmap, the whole Bible. It got all the disciples after Jesus left, all all the acts that they did, all the acts that all the disciples went out and spread the gospel and the good news, and uh, especially Paul. All of them, especially Paul. To all the surrounding cities that he could hit to tell people the good news, because that's what his father told him to do. So have to be obedient, have to do it no matter what, and know that God's got this. And he loves us all so, so much. And it will honestly be from glory to glory to glory. And you'll see a big change from then to now. Remember how you used to live to now. Um, where we have abundance and every need is taken care of. 
just at the right time. It's pretty amazing. So, so sometimes, sometimes we don't know, but we have faith. We put our faith in God. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just be who we are. We're all unique, and use our gifts and our talents. But as I just said, it's in relationship with God. Read the Holy Bible. Pray, 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 pray. And friends, pray for friends. And family, pray for family. And uh, it works. God hears those prayers. He and He goes to work right away. And he, puts the right person in your life at the right time and the right door closes at the right time and the right door opens at the right time uh, hmm crazy if you're unhappy somewhere uh, so make sure it's not you if you're unhappy you're not being treated right get out start praying about that and God will close doors and open doors yeah people are waiting there to bless you so be a good receiver too gotta be able to receive the blessing yeah got to and as I always say, with Jesus Christ, that was the free gift just to us that surrender. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right. I'll stop there. Let's go. So that was uh, Problems Happened July 27th, 1 John 5.5. 5. So uh, love you guys. Uh, see you tomorrow. Probably will be uh, First United Methodist Church. Claremont is pretty awesome, too. There's so many gifted anointed people in claremont so many terrific churches all around there's a church on every every corner whether it's just a iglesia baptiste or it's a methodist church a non-denominational or a baptist church uh the spanish church as long as it is fico it's by Bi it's bible based and it is focused on jesus and nobody else nobody else the disciples maybe we can read with it but it's jesus so uh yeah, totally on Jesus and his father and uh, maybe the people, the characters of the Bible. But uh, yeah, so focus on that. Um, those are our gods. That's Jesus, our Lord, and his father. So uh, yeah, so if you get what I'm saying. All right. Love you guys. God loves you. See you tomorrow. Probably we'll go live during worship service on First United Methodist Church. It's a... Uh, it's exciting. You never know who's going to show up, but you know who shows up every time? God shows up. So you have to show up too. It'll be the 930 service and the 1111 service. I'll hang out for both. Uh, got a special performer tomorrow. It's Bo Duke 